morning, Barton Explorers, and welcome back. We are your hosts on this fabulous Friday, November the 12th, 2021. This is Sophia Patterson and Violet Wheeler bringing you the Barton Broadcast. We hope everyone had an enjoyable Veterans Day holiday and had the chance to reflect on all the veterans that have served our country. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance in the moment of silence. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for a moment of silence. Thank you, you may be seated. If today is your special day, then we hope it's wonderful. Happy birthday! Here's what's being served in the commons today. Corn dog, french fries, mixed berry cup, and a sugar cookie. We are sure lunch will be delicious. Speaking of Veterans Day, we are focusing on Native American veterans for our Native American Heritage Month as well. Native Americans have been indispensable warriors for the United States. In, in recent decades, Native Americans have served in the military at the highest rate of any ethnic group relative to their population. These men and women follow in a proud tradition of warriors, including a small number whose connection to their native culture helped bring out a victory in a worldwide stage. During both world wars, the American military specifically sought out speakers of native languages, notable Ch Chocota and Navajo, and recruited them to serve as code talkers. Until it was declassified in the late 1960s, the code developed by the Navajo code, code talkers in World War II was the only code never breached by the enemy. Members of 33 tribes who served in this capacity have been recognized with congressional gold medals. Although it's believed that only five of the more than 300 code talkers were still alive in 2019 when this information was collected and shared online. What an invaluable contribution to the United States his history. We are all indebted to these brave Native American veterans. Students who expressed an interest in cheerleading, cheer, cheerleading may pick up a tryout packet from the front office. A parent information meeting will be held November 15th at 6 p.m. in the Commons. Tryout packets are due to Ms. Smith by 2 p.m. on Friday, November 19th. All paper merc Paperwork must be turned in by the state to participate in tryouts. Good luck to our future Barton Academy cheerleaders! We have a video to share with you now, introducing you all to the Interact Group, which is a youth branch of Rotary Club. It is a video interviewed led by Mr. Edmonds, and it will help to clarify what this group is all about. Perhaps you've seen the blue and gold signs hanging around our school, letting you know to see Mr. Edmonds for more information about Interact. Well, here's a helpful video letting you all know about this service group. As you listen, think about whether or not you might like to participate in this after-school group. Let's view this interview together now. Good morning. Uh, I'm Mr. Edmonds at Barton Academy for Advanced World Studies, and today we're going to be talking about a new club that's coming to Barton Academy called Interact. And we have a very special guest with us today, Mr. Ariel Chavez. And he's going to talk to us and tell us a little bit more about Interact as we get uh, as we get started this morning. So good morning, Ariel. Good morning. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you for being here. So I uh, want to first let the students know that you are a member of Mobile Rotary Club. And tell us what that is. Yes. Uh, Mobile Rotary Club is one of the oldest service clubs here in Mobile. And Rotary itself is probably uh, one of the biggest service clubs uh, in the world with more than 1.2 million members. Here in Mobile, I'm a member of the Downtown Rotary Club. Uh, we meet weekly and our goal is to provide service to our local community and also get involved in uh, global projects. Okay. And how long have you been a member? I have been a member for, uh, let's see, I was invited a couple years after I started my business, so about six years. I've had the opportunity to come to Mobile Rotary Club mm -hmm. from time to time, and it's always a unique experience to go and see what Rotary is doing in Mobile and worldwide. Right. So, so thank, again, thank you for being here today. So Mobile Rotary Club, or Rotary Club, sponsors a club called Interact. Correct. And that's what we're looking to start up here at Barton Academy. So yes. what is Interact? Interact is also a service club for young people. 
usually for uh, young uh, people between 12 and 18. And what we do is similar to what the Rotary Club for, you know, for the younger uh, population. So we will have uh, service projects where people get together, the members of the club will get together, they will decide the projects, they will elect the leadership, and then uh, they can find you know, what are the local issues that they would like to help, and also engage with other clubs around the world. Okay, awesome, thank you. So what are the benefits you would say for students, sixth grade through ninth grade? I think um, you know, some of the benefits are that you engage in your community, you learn a lot of uh, leadership skills. You also will have the opportunity to network with um, the leaders in the community. The mayor uh, in Mobile is a member of our chapter. You know, usually the uh, people who are very forward thinking and very service oriented, they are members of the Rotary Clubs. So you get to network with those people. You get to interact and build relationships with your peers. You get to uh, have experiences that will help you in the future, and you know, uh, will be, uh, will, can help you uh, grow as a person. Okay, so it's more than just working inside of our school, it's getting out into the community and working with, uh, yeah. with people in our, in our community. Absolutely, so, so the meetings, you know, there will be meetings that will happen probably here, but the idea is for the, kid, for the students to go outside and work with the community, provide service to the community, and also interact with, you know, uh, clubs around the world. Good, good. Will there ever be an opportunity for students to attend a Mobile Rotary Club meeting? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, we meet every Thursday here at the Battle House Hotel. Uh, kids, you know, they will, we can set up uh, a specific time where the new leadership will come and tell us about what the projects they're working on. They will be our guest speakers. Uh, but, you know, they're welcome anytime. And there will be a liaison, liaison between uh, uh, the Rotary Club and also the Rotary Club. That will be me. And then, you know, we'll stay in touch together. We will work together to make the, uh, the club a success. Awesome. Well, it sounds like a great idea for students to get involved in it here at Barton Academy, and we look forward to working with you and Mobile Rotary Club to, to give back to our community as students and learn how, to, uh, learn how to share amongst each other. So thank you very much for being here with us today. Thank you, Will, and we look forward to working with you guys. If you want more information about Interact, just watch for the links that are coming in your email, and you'll find out when the, next, when the first meeting will be. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Edmonds and, Mr. and Mr. Chavez for inviting us to learn more about this service group. Students, if you're interested in attending, please be on the lookout for information about the first meeting date. It will be emailed out soon. Thank you. Thank you to all who made sure to shine yesterday during our open house. The ambassadors did a wonderful job and the teachers wanted to tell them thank you. Thank you also to all our staff. The school is beautiful thanks to our custodial crew and students. The learning is stellar thanks to our teachers and students. The students are respectful and eager to learn. Barton is such a great place to be. It sure is. Now it's time to recite our second quarter theme. Start, Start by doing, doing what's necessary, necessary then, then do what's possible, and suddenly you are doing the impossible. Now it's time to seize the day. We can't wait to see all the great learning taking place right here under the Barton Dome. Adventure, Adventure awaits! awaits.